Hey everyone, it's Kristen Burr from Mingle Media TV, and instead of behind the red carpet, we are on the red carpet at the 83rd Annual Academy Awards. You can see there's a lot happening around me. Just behind us is the media, over here is the fan bleachers, and just about one hour, we are going to have all the celebrities, nominees, and presenters coming down the red carpet, talking to us, and we're going to ask them that big question, who are you wearing? Now, since the big question of the night is always, who are you wearing? Let's talk about my dress first. I have a wonderful Shigori Couture gown with all of this amazing beading. I want to thank Marco and Gilbert Shigori for helping me pick out this dress. Uh, the other important thing is the jewels. Charles Winston gave me a bracelet. We've got amazing earrings as well as my ring. Check this out. So all on loan to me, I feel like a pumpkin because tomorrow everything has to be returned. But I'm thrilled to be wearing all of this. And if you want to see my shoes, these are actually mine. I wore these when I attended the 2007 Oscars with a friend. So I'm glad I was able to reuse something that I own. So that's what I'm wearing. We'll see what the celebrities are wearing a little later on. You know, the, the implications of having a film get nominated is just huge. And I just really want to share their story with the world. Just to be here with the glitz and the glamour is is. I'm so lucky. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where the audience feels its intensity, I think. Yes, yeah. and the intensity is there, and that's what Danny Boyle does. He kind of experiments, he thinks outside the box, and what a great producer, and, and James Franco as an actor, I mean, he's so diverse. But you know what? A nomination is a win in and of itself. So congratulations. So lucky to be here. Thank you. Thank Enjoy you. your night. Yeah, it was a real strong year in film. I mean, yeah. both for the U.S. films and for foreign yeah. films. So you're in a really tough category. I know. Yeah. How is it everyone at home? A, a huge support from Denmark? Yeah, it's huge. It's huge. Like, we're a country of five million people, and it's, it's really huge being part of a competition like that. It's happened to me in the last five years, but but you never know how long it will last. Right, so you just have to enjoy take, the ride. Exactly, you take advantage of it and you chew it really with with greed. You know, you have to be very happy and all. I fell in love with the color. Thank you so much. And you look amazing. <laughs> that, was, that was awesome. Hey, you look amazing. <laughs> that was like an SNL sketch. Uh, I, in a weird, sadistic kind of way, I kind of wish that we didn't have a shot so I can enjoy the night. So, and I gotta wait till the last envelope to know whether it's either gonna be yes or. Uh, but you got nominated anyway. That's yeah, such no, a good I mean, thing. The fact that from two years ago getting the idea from Ben Masryk to actually being here is just it's absurd. So it was just like, hell, why can't every movie be this easy? It's a dream uh, project, isn't it? Oh, totally. A dream dream project with the dream cast and crew um, and just the timeline from how quickly it came together is it's absolutely ridiculous. Sometimes the second time around you at least have a little bit of understanding what the red carpet's like and, and the night and everything else. Yes. <laughs> yes. <What? laughs> I know, and then all of a sudden, like a big star walks by, and you're like, "Whoa!" It's, it's like that even for us. So. I, I always wear my daughter. I love hearing my daughter. It's going to be a fun night tonight. I hope. Are you expecting anything? Uh, any surprises that you can like give us a little well, hint on? I think on? there'll be some surprises you don't know about yet. Okay. Um, I think you'll enjoy them. I think you're going to see old Hollywood, young Hollywood come together, and I think it's going to be glamorous and special and. A lot of special people coming. How long did it take you to get ready? To get ready for tonight? I'm still getting ready. <laughs> How do you feel? You look, you look amazing. How do you feel? You look great. I, it's such a gritty, wonderful film. How did you uh, come across the project? Well, uh, Deborah Grenick, the director, um, asked for me. She had seen a movie I'd been in before called Me and You and Everyone We Know. Mm -hmm. And even though it's a very different role from the one that I ended up playing in, in Witch's Bone, she somehow saw some kind of connection, and <laughs> I'm glad she did. All right, I have to show you my photo. Did you have anything to do with this? Yes. You did? I took that yesterday. Uh, yeah. I pretended I was Banksy. Oh, uh, yeah. Do I look like him? Kind of, you have a red sweatshirt. <laughs> That's about it. How do you feel? Uh, it's ex incredibly exciting. It's like a jolt of energy and, and uh, talent. Does it ever get old? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't this think is so. My first one. Oh, okay, wait. okay. I want to know if this ever get old, and I want to see how you feel on your first one here. All right? <laughs> yeah, you. I, 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 you would think that it, you would. It would sort of get used to it, but you actually you don't get used to it. The more you come here, and it's that's the, the more you get those funny butterflies where you go, oh my god, I'm back again. It's funny. And who designed it? Who designed it? The cut. Yes, um, Wonderful. And who are you wearing? And you're doing a casting. 
que te lo dé, ¿cómo encaras esta ceremonia? Pues la encaro con la cara que tengo, que no me la puedo cambiar. Eh, con alegría, con muchísimo... No sé. That makes sense. And I have to say, I, some of the most touching male scenes, like, and very emotional, but very witty all at the same time. I mean, how, how do you get in tune with all of that outside of Colin Firth and, and Jeffrey Rush bringing your words to life? Yes, well, I did get lucky, didn't I? Did. <laughs> it really helped. What a cast. Yeah. And then, you know something? It's very strange. Suddenly, they start writing their own dialogue, and I'm simply the stenographer. So, for me, it's been a lot of hurdles, you know. It's a long journey, isn't long it? Journey. I mean, you must even feel like it's such a long journey together, you know, to be here. No, exactly. Are you going to cry? Because you should. No, I, like I, a good, I, like, I, no, I actually <laughs> cried on the way in here, you know what I mean? Good. It's such a good feeling because I think it really, you know, the support, the emotional support that my family has given me, my daughter Caroline, my, my brother, you know, Brian, and, and um, just the texts and emails, it kind of just hit me. I think, you know, I've been to the Golden Globes, I've been to the other events. I don't know, for some reason, just when I came here, I got this emotional feeling. So, so great. Mark Ruffalo. Hello, Ed. Meow. If we went in the direction of natural gas, we would toxify all of the United States. We would drill 34 states to, to so many holes it looked like a piece of toxic Swiss cheese. Instead, what we should be doing is putting all that money into renewable energy, which we could use right now and put ourselves on that road to having a source of energy that lasts forever, rather than building $700 billion worth of equipment and we're not, we're, it's going to run out in 20 or 30 years. We do it backwards sometimes here in the U.S., don't we? There's too much going on at once. <laughs> Like there have been about six weeks of, of guild awards and parties leading up to this, so we've met so many of the nominees who've seen our film and love our film. So it's it's actually really cool just to get a sense of how many people in how many walks of life have watched this and been affected by it. I've heard a lot of support for your film too. Yeah, I, I, a lot good. of people talk about it. I yeah, like they that. do. We love it. I like that. The man. buzz is good. <laughs> you got distracted, so I got distracted. Anyone good behind me? Darn it. Yeah, when you when you get one of Chris Nolan's screenplays, you know you're going to have to earn your keep on it. You know you're going to have to work really hard to decipher it and also to come up with a kind of an original way to execute it. And so you really just start with a little bit of work and you, you bite off a tiny bit of it and keep working at it until you've got it figured out and then you start shooting, you know? Do you have to go back sometimes and reread the scripts? Over and over and over again. <laughs> you have to read it constantly. I, I felt like I needed to see the movie a couple times before I was like, okay, I get it now. And did you have to read the script more than once? Because I had to see the movie more than once. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, I, I, I read it once and I, I was too shy to, to tell Chris I didn't know what was going on, so I went back and read it a second time. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, I'm glad it's not just me because no, you no. worked on the film. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I feel better now. It's been an incredible ride here at the 83rd Annual Academy Awards. You can hear all the noise, the sounds, all of the people. It's been incredible. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. I'm Kristen Burr from Mingle Media TV, live from the red carpet at the Oscars.